Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishano here. Welcome back to more RC video reviews. In the background, yes, my Seeker 450 V2 that I have built and flown. And honestly speaking, since then, I didn't find time to set it up for FPV. Winter catches up, weather is very bad, cannot do any kind of flying. So I let it rest. But now, as the weather forecast says that some bright sunny days are in the pipeline, very, very soon, I thought it's the best time to prepare the Seeker 450 V2 with an FPV system. And my choice of FPV system, as I plan not to go too far, is the Hawkeye Firefly Fortress FPV system, which is like a, a which has an FPV camera and a tiny video transmitter, which is 72 channel 5.8 GSC video transmitter, and you can actually switch its power from 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt. 200 milliwatt, I believe, is enough power with good antennas on my video goggles. I should be able to go up to two kilometer without losing the live video. Let me introduce this uh, tiny FPV system that is Hawkeye Firefly Fortress it's right here in my hands. Can you see it? It's just that small. So it is really, really lightweight, very compact and a small system. And I think my Seeker 450 V2 is not going to even feel it on board. I mean, you can install this FPV system on micro FPV quadcopters or even FPV boobs, brushless FPV boobs. It's that small, tiny, compact and lightweight. Enough said, let me bring the camera closer, give you a closer look at the Hawkeye Firefly Fortress all-in-one FPV system, FPV camera and video transmitter. And, we'll, and I will show you its features as well. We'll power it on right away and see how it works. Okay, so inside the box, that's what I received. Uh, in a plastic box, we have a FPV camera, that is Hawkeye Firefly. Then an OSD tweaking module, uh, mounting accessories with these screws and stuff. We have a user manual, we have a small video transmitter, I mean look at the size of this video transmitter. Basically this will easily fit behind the camera. You can actually using the screws mount it behind the camera and use it as all in one FPV video system. All right? Now for the features, take a look at the features of video transmitter here. And take a look at the camera features here. Now that we have taken a look at the features, I have installed a JST connector because that's how I'm going to power it. Uh, as you have seen that the video transmitter actually will take uh, 5 volts maximum I believe. But the Firefly camera can take from 5 to 36 volts. So basically the camera then provides power to video transmitter because it gives only 5 volt out from the camera. So I am going to connect this one here. The connections are really straightforward and easy. Okay, And this side is going to connect to the video transmitter. All right, we are done. There is one button here that we will use to change uh, frequencies and bands and also we can use the same button to change the power. Now let's power it on and see how the image quality is and also we will take a look at the OSD of this camera that we can use to tweak. For now I'm going to use my Ishin EV800D FPV video goggles. The best thing I love about these goggles are that these are detachable so we can actually use them as LCD and see how this camera system is working. To make it work, of course, we are going to power the camera system on Seeker 450 V2. All right? So, the table is getting messy, but let's get to work. All right. There we are, properly locked this time. So basically, the image quality is really nice right here. I can see it in the LCD. Let me focus the camera on LCD uh, so we can see everything clear when I use the uh, uh, OSD module. All right, power on again. And 
and here we have the video okay let me just zoom out a little bit so we don't see much of that uh, lines hold on where it's clear all right it's much clearer here I believe okay so here we have the uh, menu system I believe enter down left and right so let me see it should be in the center all right this is FPV setup if you can see it uh, let me just put something black in front of camera all right now you can see it I just blocked everything so we have a FPV setup all right then we have exposure day and night image setup function factory and save and exit so let's see FPV setup we have time on power on position POS on I'm not sure what is uh, POS is a, a piece of shit or <laughs> point of sale I don't know so we have everything uh, on except the POS is P1 P2 P3 P4 uh, anyway we'll keep the scale mark on as well return that we have exposure setup uh, for exposure setup I have to remove this uh, covering and it says exposure value 009 plus metering uh, average all right so basically this all can be set metering up middle down average okay and we can also go to uh, exposure and set it as per our choice very nice so return then we have a day and night camera so I'm gonna go to day and night mode is color and black and white so at night it will show us in black and white let me turn the lights off in the room and we see yeah actually it's pretty nice man hey check me out <laughs> in black and white and uh, what if I change the mode to color okay and I'll just pick the camera and point it downwards in the dark where my uh, 3D printer and other things are. So you can see basically uh, the image is still very, very good. And this is black and white. We can uh, change the exposure as well. All right. So back to color. Okay. Let me turn the lights on. All right. The next system setup is, hold on, put it up. Oh, sorry. The next is return. All right. Image setup. We have uh, color gain, mirror. Oh, nice. We can mirror the image as well. We can set the gamma, sharpness, uh, auto white balance, AGC. Well, wow, those are nice options to set here. Auto white balance. We have auto, manual. We have auto, we have manual, all right? So I'll just keep it in auto for now, all right? AGC, low, mid, high. Oh, nice. See, you can see more, you see more grains here, all right? And off. Oh, the picture is really clear once we turn the AGC off. Check it out. It's really much more clear picture with the AGC off, all right? Let me just put it to low, mid, and high. Nothing happens. Actually, you see uh, the difference only when it's darker. All right. Then we have next in the setup function setup system is Paul or NTSC. You can do it. Image scaling 16 by 9. I love it. Language English. I'll keep it right there. After that, factory reset and save and exit. All right. Uh, yes. And save. All right. So. For now, the camera system, what's up baby, looking cool in 44 years old and uh, entering 45 years old of your life. Okay, so yes, camera is actually working really nice. We can, we can make a tunnel, infinite tunnel here. Basically, everything is really nice and clear on this camera, you can see. This tiny compact camera system is working really nice and good. Next thing, I just need to install it on my quadcopter and it should, it should be just five minutes of work. So let me get to work. So far, indoors it's working very well. I'm kind of liking it. For outdoor use, I will switch it to 200 milliwatt and we will give it a test 
and of course the range test most important is the range test using the OFM seeker 450v2 I'm not worried because it has an auto return to home feature and I do have one more gadget that I want to show you which is really really small and nice right here it's WeFly Finder 2 which is a lost drone finder beeps really nice and loud it has an LED light on it and some nice features so even at night you can find your lost drone so I'm gonna install that one as well on it let's hope the good weather comes really really soon so I can test how far I can go and how well the Hawkeye Firefly Fortress all-in-one FPV system is performing so stay tuned for FPV videos with Hawkeye Firefly Fortress and OFM Seeker V2 coming very very soon your way once the weather is good come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.